my husband and I were living in the DC Baltimore area and we decided we needed to live someplace that gave us a better quality of life. And he found an ad in the New England Journal of Medicine that said, most desired city in the Midwest. And he found out it was Kansas City. And little did we know that it really is the most desired city in the Midwest. One of my early activities was actually with a volunteer organization with Alvin Ailey. Alvin Ailey, with the work that it does with young people, has been such a, a staple in the community, but one of the major benefits about it has been that it has been very deliberate about bringing together people from different um, cultures, different ethnicities, um, when they have different um, committee chairs and co-chairs, they try to make sure that they have people from different racial groups. And they've been very good about reaching out across the community and bringing everybody under um, one umbrella, which is something that's been always been very important to me. And it means that people are coming together around some common interests. And I think that's one way that I look at it. But I think what is um, most evident to me through all of that is that the civic, the corporate, the, com the community efforts all come together. I like in this region that when there's a major effort, it's not just one of those three legs of the stool that is driving what happens. Everyone's coming together, so whether it is um, the Hall Family Foundation with its um, facilitation of conversation and its investments, or it's uh, the corporate side with an organization like Evergy that is doing so much to invest in young entrepreneurs and um, look at our environmental investments to other um, community organizations that are helping to build up our neighborhoods. Uh, neighborhoods, all of those things are happening at the same time. I went to an event one day at the Reardon Center and Adele Hall was one of the speakers. When she arrived, everyone knew who she was, I didn't, and people started to talk about her and they talked about her as if they knew her. You know, they all felt they had a relationship with her in one way or another. And when she spoke, she talked about valuing people and unifying a community. I got to know her through other things, one of which was a women's public service network. She and a number of other women founded that group. And one of the other women was Shazi Branton. Shazi, I remember because she had this larger than life laugh that was just so infectious. Um, she was always pragmatic in every one of our meetings, um, insightful, and just knew how to put her finger on the essence of whatever it was we we're talking about. The first thing that I would recommend is that someone take a a step back and think about those things that really move them. You know, where's your heart? What is it that drives you? What do you care about most? And look for opportunities to get involved in things that touch those areas. And then think about what your skill sets are. Take those skills with you to a civic organization or a cause or whatever it might be and offer to devote some of your time helping a cause. And if you can't find a cause that um, already exists, create one. In this community, you can do things like that. With the Junior League, my experience has been mostly as an outside observer and an, an admirer of the organization. I like that this organization of very dedicated women has created a program like the one that's being put on today. The very fact that they've been able to identify the major issues going on, not just in our Kansas City region, but in our, um, in our world, and to bring the thought leaders to the table to have a conversation about it, 
It's amazing to me that all that has happened in, in just a five years, roughly five years. Um, I like that it is dedicated to doing things that touch not just the, um, the, the global issues, but also social issues. I will spend every minute of my time trying to give back so that I can make it worthwhile. I'm very appreciative of this.